Good day, my farming friends. How the heck are you? Welcome back to Georgetown, New York. You betcha. It is snowing. It is snowing the second day of early winter. I was just looking at my TMR processor here and decided, holy crap, I gotta get some corn in there. So, being that we were gonna do a land swap kind of thing, let's take a look at that because there is a gentleman in the area that has some corn in a field, but he never got to it. So, He's willing to sell that if I can sell some glad. We have 505000 in the bank. we got to get to a million so I can pay Adrian, a.k.a. Farmer Ben, back for the generous uh, loan that he gave me. What a good man. What a good friend. So let's take a look at the map. And right now we have everything we, we had has been harvested. So I'm thinking all this red area down here that we uh, use for our ethanol production, I'm thinking that's, you know, that ODF, that outhouse guy, he's down here. He, you know, he he's been begging me. He's been begging me for some of this land. So, look at the price of that, six hundred forty-six thousand. So I think I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get rid of all this. I think I'm gonna get rid of all this. We are going to uh, part with all this property. There we go. Get rid of that. Okay. Now we had some two corn fields down here that we brought into the ethanol plant. So I think I'm gonna sell them as well. We're just going to part with all that stuff. We, we are going to uh, consolidate our farming empire. So, 70 is the uh, field that has corn on it that the guy has. And the reason I want that is to put it into the TMR processor to make TMR for the cows. Now, the silage bunker is full of silage. We still have some silage stored up. So, we can make some good TMR there for the cows and maybe increase our dairy production. So, let's purchase that field. We can get the combine on there right away. Now, the other thing I'm thinking about is... These four fields here right across from us, uh, they're, they're not a whole bunch of money, but we are going to purchase them as well. Nothing's on them. They're, they're just out there sitting all fallow. There's nothing on them. So that leaves us with that. That's not too bad. Now, 84 is a possibility here because we have 86. Um, I know that wackadoodle guy, he's been kind of creeping down here a little bit. But I'm also thinking 106 is a nice little field there. We're gonna we're gonna take that one as well, and then uh, what does that leave us with in the bank? What do we have in the bank then? Um, oh, oh, let's see. Get out of there. What do we have in the bank? So that leaves us with one million six thousand bucks. Hmm. So we can still have money to play with. We could we could just spend it all right now and get rid of it and uh, give it to Adrian. That's not that's not a bad option. I don't think there's anything else that. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking 84 is 82,000. We could do these two here too as well. Um, kind of around that corner. Because you got to come around down the road and then come through the one field to get to 70. So we might as well just, you know what? Let's just do that as well. I might regret that later on. But there, there's our new uh, red empire. I, you know what? Let's just do 84. We have some money. There, there is our consolidated farming empire. So I, I kind of like that. That feels pretty good. I, 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 was, I had plans for this down here, but man, you know, that's, that's it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a trek. It's a trek. I can't talk. It's a trek. So we got that taken care of. I did get the tanker truck. So we have 729000 So we're sitting okay. We, we got to get to a million. I can pay back um, Adrian. You know what we could do? Well, let's just wait and see. Because I, I did get a load of water down to the ethanol plant. So we are starting to produce ethanol already, but we got to get up to the train. I want to get that done tonight get up to the train and get that uh, train delivered to the ethanol plant and get all our corn unloaded. And then i got to fire up the combine and get to that cornfield. I'm going to call Brianna and see if she's busy. Maybe she can run a little combine for me. But, uh, man, we gotta get, we got to get going here. Anybody know how to run a train? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. We're just going to steal the damn thing. I, I tell you what, they, they gave it to me. They borrowed it to me. So I'll hop into here. we get the train all fired up. Now, we have got uh, six cars, I think. Six cars full of um, corn. Hey, we should shut those uh, shut those lids on there. There's one. There's two, three, four. I think the back two are just. I don't think they have a lid. But we're gonna take this train. We got we got um, sixteen thousand four hundred and seventy-seven bushels worth of corn that's gonna go down to the ethanol plant. So we'll have a little fun little jaunt down there. Hopefully we can find our way and get this train moving. I tell you what, so nice of the railroad just to let me take their train. I tell you, I'll just look outside. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm driving the damn train. I am, nope, railroad crossing is down. Oh, a little shaky in here. Holy buckets. That's a good looking train. I tell you what. Nothing better than farming and you can just steal a train. 
in this snowy winter day in Georgetown, New York. Absolutely awesome. Oh crap, hang on there, train. Absolutely awesome. Ooh, a little tunnel here. We go into the tunnel. I think we're going the right way. I, I think we are going the right way. I don't know. Uh, hopefully so. Hopefully so. Either I gotta, no, I gotta, I'm going the right way. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Ooh, look at that. That is just absolutely gorgeous. I tell you what, absolutely gorgeous. That's the tunnel that you drive to, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I got I got a couple uh, baby mosquitoes in my mouth. Oh man, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. So now we're coming across. Uh, well, 51 here. This is um, Outhouse Farmer. This is Outdoor Farmer. I should say the right name. I I, I picked on him enough. Outdoor Farmer. Uh, his little shindig here. Kind of in his neck of the woods. Beautiful country though. Absolutely good. Oh, watch your head. Out. Oh, what has he got going on here? I don't. I tell you what. He's got a. Oh. He's got a trailer and a... Oh, it's got some cows down here. Oh, yeah, he's got cows. He's got cows! I haven't seen him around, though, lately. I think he was here yesterday a little bit, but I haven't seen him around. Let's see, now where are we headed to? Okay, we're coming up there quick, so... Yeah, we're coming up there. Start to slow down maybe a little bit. I don't want to go flying. I don't want to go flying right by the ethanol plant. So once we get the cord unloaded, then we'll see about water. I might have to bring another tanker down, tanker of water. And we'll see how fast this ethanol produces and we can get that sold. And I think this is going to make us some damn good money. I think it's going to be damn good money. Uh, what are we coming up to now? Oh, here's the uh, fertilizer plant. Yep. Biomass plant. Look at that. I tell you what, these railroad systems they have here is just absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okie dokie. We should be coming up. Oh, yeah, this is that biogas plant. Down here where this wackadoodle has a bunch of stuff down here. Yeah, he's got, um, he's got some animals. Does he have some sheep or pigs? I don't know what he's got down there. You never know that, wackadoodle. So now we're coming up to the ethanol plant. Here's the ethanol plant. So we'll see how much, uh, slow down, train. Slow down. There we go. That's, that's some good driving. I am a professional train conductor. Yeah, look at that train. You know, kinds of cars out here. Okay. I should get the, uh, let's see. Let me go back here to the first car. Open up the door. Let's see. What car am I on here? Oh, there I had it. There we go. Okay. So we'll unload that car. That car is unloading. So once we get all this corn unloaded, then we can check, uh, I probably have to bring another taker of water. I don't even know if the ethanol plant can hold all this corn. I mean, this is 16,477 bushels. That's a lot of corn. Look at that corn just going to that ethanol plant. We're making some good moves, man. Some high quality Georgetown, New York moonshine. Awesome. All right, we are on the uh, fourth car unloading. So, so far the ethanol plant has taken our three, our, the first three train cars. And then we have the uh, fourth one here, and then we have two, I don't know, what do you call them, box cars behind there? I don't know, I don't know what kind of car you call them. Um, get them uh, unloaded. I th I'm hoping that we can take all the, uh, it'll take it all. Let's see, now that ended that one. So let's go, let's see if we can unload this one. We have two more cars to go. There we go. Get that one unloaded. And we still have 6,000 uh, bushels to go here, 5,000, so we're... We've unloaded quite a bit. Look at that. That thing is just uh, emptying out there fast. Holy buckets. Look at that. That well, that car held a lot for crying out loud. Holy buckets. That's pretty good. So, now, here's a good question. Where do we sell our ethanol at? Um, there's got to be a place here to sell our fuel. It must just be considered fuel, huh? Diesel fuel? Um, I don't know. And nothing listed there. Um, digestate, slurry, compost, flour. Huh. We'll have to check that out. But that's fuel. It doesn't say where to sell it. Hmm. We'll have to figure that out. I'll have to make a few phone calls to get that figured out. Okay, so that car must be emptied. One more to go. And then we'll have this train all done. That was a lot of bushels. Well, I'll tell you what, that saved some time hauling it by truck, didn't it? 
Holy buckets. That was awesome. I tell you what, nothing better than a good train. Nothing better than a good train. Yep. 1,800 bushels to go. Oh, perfect. Well, we got that done. Now i got to figure out where to sell this fuel, how long it takes to make the ethanol. And um, we'll kind of go from there. And then, uh, like I said, get that cow mine up and running tonight. Because tonight, after tonight, I leave me, my, might not be worth cow mining. But uh, there it goes. Train empty. Congratulations. We got her done. Awesome. Alrighty, got the combine up, fired up. We're going to head down to that cornfield, and we're going to get that uh, worked on right away. The windshield wiper's going snowing. I tell you what, there's nothing better than doing a little corn harvest in the snow. I, I think I love it. I love it. I've seen me do it. Anyways, we'll turn here. It's, it's a little tricky to get through this field, but um, it's a new one for us. I'm kind of excited that it turned out this way that the guy had it. Do the little late season uh, corn harvest for our TMR. I, I didn't think ahead. That was my fault. I mean, I didn't think ahead about having some corn from the TMR. We were so busy on doing the ethanol. I still make a, made a few phone calls to see where we can do with this fuel, but that's our field right down there. That's that new one there. So I'm looking forward to it. It's a nice sized field. It's a decent sized field. I think we can get a lot get a lot done out of it, make some money off of it. So I think we're sitting pretty good. I, I, I think this is a good decision. This was a, uh, what does our windshield wiper look a little food bar there on top? Maybe it's just supposed to be that way. I don't know. But, um, oh, beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous day for a little, uh, a little winter uh, corn harvest. You betcha. This is not going to take it long with, with, with this combine and this header. Brianna's going to come down. She's going to do a little bit for us. And uh, we get that put into that TMR uh, processor. And then uh, maybe uh, tomorrow morning we'll check in with the uh, with the ethanol plant and see if we have any uh, fuel there. Maybe, maybe, we, maybe we have a tanker already and we can get that um, up and running. So we got to come down here and then we got to take a little uh, side road to the right which will come by. So basically we now own uh, these three fields here on my uh, my right. So I think it turned out pretty good. It's not that far away from the farm. It's just down the road a little bit and it'll it'll be pretty good and we can uh, get a lot of stuff done. Uh, we, we are we are close enough to the uh, rail yard and the uh, silos. So that's, a, that's a good sign too. See now, wait, did I miss it? No, we gotta keep going here. We gotta keep going. I forgot, it is a little bit of a trek up here. But not as bad as the other spot. Not as bad. It's still, um, it's very, very, very doable. Very, very doable. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. So, this road here to the right should take us down to um, our three fields here. 68, 69, and 70. So, it's a pretty real private location right down here. We'll turn into here. And we'll head down there. That, so, that means that... Uh, we might have a little extra spring field work to do with these fields that we just acquired because we didn't we didn't waste our time. We didn't do any with the um, with the other ones that we had for the corn and the ethanol. We didn't we didn't do any field work there. So we didn't we're not, we didn't lose anything. And the ones that we did all the work on, we still have. So it's it's going to work out pretty good at the end. It is going to work out pretty good at the end. And the other thing I want to do is try to find maybe a little uh, forest land so we can maybe do some um, logging here this winter because once we get this ethanol all done, I think you know. Basically, just be, besides working in the shop, we're going to have everything kind of covered up here. So let's just see. Let's pull into here. There we go. Oh, this is a nice field down here. Watch out for the fence posts. Hey, look at that. I even got her done now. Unfold the um, header. So we'll just make a pass right down here. And uh, Brianna should show up with the, uh, with the truck. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Ah, more corn. More corn, my friend. How can he go wrong? So, we'll get this started. Yeah, it's not going to take very long with this combine. I'll tell you what, this is a beast of a combine. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, oh yeah, beautiful sight. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it doesn't get any better. Doesn't get any better. And then uh, we get a truck down here and we'll haul that into the TMR processor. And uh, tomorrow morning, we'll, um, we will check on the, uh, the ethanol and see if we made any money there. If we have produced any ethanol. And then... Um, I know what we can do with that and see how much money we can make. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. It um, it should turn out pretty good, and hopefully by tomorrow afternoon uh, we'll have Adrian paid off. And then all we got to do is work on our loan here with the bank, the local credit union, which we owe eight hundred and thirty thousand. So I think we are um, we're making progress, my friends. We are making progress.
gone over this a thousand times before Baby, it's now or never Gotta leave this town and I know what you're asking for You say it's out of my reach But I can't pretend no more Cause for as long as I remember Little dark outside, I would have to say. We have one full semi-load of corn down from that um, that new field of ours. As you did see, I did get the uh, tanker trailer, the fuel tanker, up to the ethanol plant ready for loading in the morning. So I'm kind of excited about that. I think, I think we're going to make some darn good money on that uh, that fuel. But we'll have to wait and see what happens in the morning. Right now we got to get this corn done. It is continuing to snow. And uh, getting a little slick outside. The, uh, the Kenworth Day Cab had a heck of a time getting up that hill onto that field. But we made it. So we'll head back to the farm, we'll empty the, uh, the, the semi-trailer into the TMR mixer and that'll be good to go. So we have hay in there, I think we have some hay, is it hay or straw, I can't remember, we'll look when we get there. But if not, we'll get that full up too and then uh, of course we do have a bunch of silos so we'll get that put in there as well. We'll have a bunch of TMR set up for us, that'd be pretty good. And if we do have a bunch, we could actually sell some and make a little extra money. I'm not too, uh, kind of excited about that, not too worried about it. But we'll get back to the farm empty this, we have uh, 2,000. And uh, 800 and whoa, say there are 37 uh, bushels on this trailer. A little over exaggerated, but that's okay. That's okay. Did you see that? This is why I'm the best damn driver in farm sim right there. Did you see that little truck driving thing I did? Holy fucking, I'm awesome. I am awesome. Anyways, yeah, I, that's good. It's good. I, I feel kind of good about that cornfield. I was a little worried about it. A little late night uh, snowy harvesting, but it's coming along pretty good. So we'll get get this empty. We'll get back there. Whoa! I slid right through. Oh crap! I slid right through the intersection. Yeah, no cop, no stop. You know what I mean? It gets dark. I tell you what, the winter uh, winter time it gets dark around here. But so we'll get that done. I think we have. Well, the combine is full back in the field, and then maybe we got uh, I don't know, just a little bit left to go. So we should have that done in about an hour. Then we'll come back. Get out of a midnight bacon sandwich, and uh, we'll be good to go. Let's see. Now, i got to empty this thing right here into the TMR silo. And then we'll try in the morning with that ethanol and see if we can make some money off of that. I'm looking forward to that. I am looking forward to that. There we go. So we'll fill this up. Oops, what happened? Oh, it's going. It's going. Okay, my flashlight. There's my mag light. So, a little John Deere tractor running the uh, backhoe conveyor there. So, yeah, we do have 47,000 uh, liters of hay in there. So the corn is um, empty in there. It'll update here in just a little bit. But we'll get that up and running. Are we empty? Yeah, we're empty. So, that'd be pretty good. But it's just so dark, you can't barely see anything. How about if I chat with you in the morning and uh, we'll kind of go from there? Good morning. Let's see, 7.56, just approaching 8 o'clock in the morning. 21 degrees outside this third day of midwinter. I did spend about 40,000 bucks on an auger, uh, so a conveyor, not an auger, a conveyor. So I took the 4020 down to the dealership, I picked it up, and we are loading some silage up into the uh, belly dump here to put into the TMR silo. Now, some of it's going to go in there, and some of it is going to go into this building. This is our fancy little uh, BGA we constructed. So we can get slurry out of that and make some money for the uh, BGA. So I'm kind of looking forward to that, so I think we're sitting pretty good with that. Like I said, I think we still have some silage back in our little uh, our little warehouse back there, too. But right now, I'm going to have Sophie, as soon as she gets out here, she's, uh, every light in the house is on, for crying out loud. But as soon as she gets out, going to be right up to the semi, up to the ethanol plant. We'll see if we have a full tanker. And if so, we'll take it down to, um, I think it's got to go down to the, uh, the speed stop down there. And we'll get that unloaded and see if we make any money on ethanol. I'm, I'm excited about that. I am excited because I think we're going to be... Uh, I think we're going to be rolling in it pretty soon. Well, Sophie will be rolling something, but I think I'll be rolling in the money. But we'll see. All right. Overnight, the ethanol plant has produced 22,244 gallons of ethanol. Holy buckets. Wow. Um, 
So let's just see how much this tanker holds. I'm not, I'm not so sure. So we'll start filling it up. Uh, holy crap. So what do we say? 22,000 gallons? So this thing is going to hold uh, 23,776. So how much do we have left? Okay, so we have 3,395 gallons left in there. Now, I don't know if... Um, it's hard to tell if we still need water or if we still have um, corn in there. I suppose I could bring a truck up or get the train back. Let's see, can you unload? Um, maybe you can unload the corn that's in there. So I don't know. So we'll have to figure that out. We'll, we'll see that if that number goes up. You know, I, I know it has to produce the ethanol, so, but I wish I could tell um, how much corn and water is in there. But uh, we'll go from there. We will go from there. See, it's 75% corn, 25% water. I brought up two tanks of water, so maybe it just needs more water. We'll, we'll grab some water here, and we'll see if it keeps going up. But I'll keep an eye on that. Hop into the uh, big boy, Kenworth. So, yeah, we've got uh, 23,776 gallons of ethanol. And like I said, 3,441. So it has gone up, so it is still going up. So, I mean, this could be like a once-a-day thing. Let's go down there. And yeah, let's see. Well, let's, let's, put, let's put her in put her in drive. Holy crap, I lost my license here. What am I saying about the best damn driver in Farm City? Yeah, it's still me. There's no question about that. And we'll head on down to that speed shop down there. And we'll see how much money we made. Because you think about it, we put a lot of effort into this, um, this ethanol producing. We harvested a lot of cornfields. We invested money into the cornfields, you know. And even though we have $678,000 in the bank, we're still in debt. Uh, 1.9 million almost so I mean it seems like we've got some money but we really don't but once we get to the 1 million mark it's gonna go back to my good buddy Adrian and, whoa buckets you see that it was a freaking rhinoceros yep rhinoceros trying to run out in front of me terrible absolutely terrible I gotta watch out for those rhinoceros is in Prius driving buttholes I, I mean here in Georgetown they're the danger they're, the, they're a hazard they are a hazardous society that's for sure but hey, it's okay but anyways, we'll get down to the uh, speed shop and we'll sell us. I, I'm... It's got to be worth something, right? I mean, it's got to be worth something. It's not like we're just doing all this to make water, for crying out loud. It's got to be worth something. So I'm thinking it's either going to be decent money. I think it's either going to be decent money, you know, like, ah, okay. Or it's going to be an exorbitant amount of money. Um, but nonetheless, I'm, ex <laughs> I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. Because and I'm, I'm hoping that we still have a bunch more ethanol out there to be produced yet. I didn't think that we could haul 23,776 gallons here. Well, it seems like a lot. Holy buckets! So we'll go with it. We'll just give it. We'll just give it a give it a chance. Give it a try and see how much, how fast the money goes up. So I think it's behind the speed shop. If I'm not mistaken. So we pull up here to the corner. Let's see. The speed shop's that way. I could go for a donut. We can stop at Doughboys and get ourselves a donut. You know the other place I'm going to try out? I got to go. I got to go back to um, the ribeye place. Sophie and I are going to go have dinner there tonight. To uh, the ribeye place. Yep. We are definitely going to do that. Um, I, I, I feel like a good ribeye. I absolutely feel like a good ribeye. So let's pull into the SC. Let's keep going a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Here's a speed shop. I think we got to come back. Now the question is. I wonder if I should try to back. I'm gonna try to back in there. They have def. They got. They sell def fluid here too. But this is where um, this is where all the ethanol is sold. Let's see. There it is. Oh crap! It's back there in the corner. Let's see. My fancy driving. I wonder if I can jackknife this around the corner there. They didn't put their uh, tanker in a good spot, did they? Yeah, that's not good. Let's see. Maybe if I. Uh, Let's see, I'll try to whip a Yui in here, and then back in coming the other way. That might work. What? I just gotta get this place cleaned up. This is, looks like a disaster back here. He's like a hoarder. He's a hoarder. Yep. I ain't blame it on Gertie, but it's still, he's a hoarder. He is a hoarder. There, that'll work. I can back this thing around the corner here. Ooh, I almost took out his fence. Ooh, almost took out his Napa van, too, there. Welcome to Parking Lot Simulator. With your host, Harvard Men. That was terrible.
I used to play a lot of Rocky Lots in there. Yep. Actually, I still do now and then. Oh, that was crap. That was crap. Stupid van there. Gotta pull a back trailer to trailer. Bad spot for it. Alright, here goes nothing. Time will tell. Time will tell. Let's see. We have 678,207 in the bank. Whoa. Look at that money go. Holy criminy. Look at that money go. That, 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 this is this is money maker here. This is a money maker, I'm telling you. Uh, almost 20% empty. And we've gone up quite a bit. Yeah. That's, that's, this is going to be uh, big bucks. This is going to be big bucks. 20% left to go, and we have made uh, some darn good money. 10%. Just 1,500 gallons to go. And we are empty. 145,946 bucks for one semi load of ethanol. Oh, I'm not complaining. I am not complaining, and don't tell Sophie how much money we made. I'll just pretend we made like half of that. Yep. I gotta have a secret nest egg in case she has a weeder accident again. But it's okay. Let's see. That is some darn good money. Now, like I said, the question is, I wonder what would happen. Oh, I'm spinning. Holy crap, the, the truck just took off on me. I have my, my, uh, break, my uh, pedal stuck. That's okay. So, now I'm wondering... Um, now I'm wondering if we are still producing ethanol. If I need water, make sure all that corn. So I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this back up to the ethanol plant. I'm gonna park it there, and let's just see how much is in that uh, in the tank there. What was it? Two thousand four hundred something. Yeah, I think I think that's about right. And then I'll have Sophie come and pick me up, and maybe I'll pick up another semi in the water tanker, and we'll bring that up, and we'll dump water in the ethanol plant just to be on the safe side and make sure. Like I said, I wish there was a way of knowing. I wish there was a way of knowing uh, what we have in there yet, because I don't want to waste corn, and I don't go oh, stay on the road there. I don't think that I, um, I don't think that I can empty the corn out. You know, if we had still have corn in their silo to lose ethanol, I don't think I can take that back out as far as I'm concerned. So we just want to keep it producing until all the corn is gone. Extra water in there, I'm not too worried about. Extra water, that's okay. Um, man. That is exciting stuff. What do we have, 125, 45? I can't, I can't remember, there's so much money I got clustered. Uh, man, this stupid pig pen there. Yeah, that wackadoodle, I tell you what. I think he bought this BJ one time, and I think he sold it, or something like that, I don't remember. Um, no, we'll pull into here. And we'll get this parked again. Now, for the rest of the day, I'm gonna do something with that silage. I'm gonna get that silage bunker empty. That's just going to be a bunch of filling up the truck and dumping them off. And I say we're going to dump a bunch of it in the uh, TMR processor, and then we're going to dump a bunch of it into the uh, little BGA building there and uh, have some income that way. So that's where that's going to go. So I'll just spend the rest of the day doing that and um, work on some animals, some animal work to do, go check on the sheep and uh, the hemp sheep and kind of go from there. But in the meantime, let's just see if this thing has, has kept producing here. And then I'll get the other taker up here and we'll get some more water in here. Oh, kind of right in the rail there a little bit. Oh yeah, see it's still going up, 3,633. So that's still going up. So I'll bring us water up. And uh, God, man, if we could get another couple, more, some more trucks. Oh, man, we'd be, we'd be, we'd be sitting, uh, we'd be sitting pretty damn good. Well, leave it there for today. Thanks for stopping by and joining me in Georgetown, New York. I sincerely appreciate it. A beautiful map. Absolutely gorgeous map on Natural Dad. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out and uh, give a big shout out to Natural Dad. Anyways, um, you have yourself a good week, my friends, and keep in between the ditches. So long.